Right then folks, back at the church. It's just ten past three. We're just going to have a walk round. Because I didn't have the umbrella earlier. So I've done inside the church. But outside, a lot of these gravestones are Whitmore's. So I just do a little bit. So there's a church of St. Mary's there, which is open by the way still. And then over here we've got the we've got the Whitmores. All this row here and the row behind are Whitmores. And here we've got um, Robert son of William and Elizabeth Whitmore. But I've, I've got all that recorded. I can't read them all from here, but there he goes, Elizabeth there. There's John Whitmore who died October the 30th, 18 something or other. And then you've got, here's a good one. Enough in memory of Mary Whitmore who died 4th of November, 1897, aged 93. So she would have been born at the turn of this, that century, wouldn't she? And then we've got um, another Whitmore here. I can't read that one, but it's written inside the church. Then that one's written inside. So there are a few recorded. People are picking their kids up from school now, I think. So... Just a little skip round to the church then. So this is St Mary's now. I'd done the inside earlier. I managed to get in. Um, but it was bucketing down. I didn't have an umbrella. I never had my boots on earlier either. George Wright. I can call out the odd name you see. Spencer, William Spencer, 1877-32, John Jacobs, two John Jacobs, James Howlett, that sounds familiar doesn't it, 1872-36, and Hester Rabina, his daughter, she died May the 15th, 1870-9 months, wow, maybe that was the time of the cholera outbreak, because there was a lot of that going on. Mary Robert Retham. Henry Salmons. There's quite a few up against the wall up here as well. Fortunately, bit being in the week, there's not a lot of people in, in their gardens watching me go round. See, look, there's a load of them up here. I just... This is what happens sometimes, they just get thrown and stacked up and rubbleized. Yeah. Sarah Frances, eldest daughter of Henry and Susan, something or other. She died aged 42. Julia of Henry and Susan Hannah. Cooper, at least there's a Cooper. So these are the Coopers. Arthur, son of um, Henry and Susan Cooper. He died July the 27th, 1886, age 23. So he was very young, wasn't he? What year was that? 1886. I'm trying to do it quite well, this video, because... Um, it's not a very big video because I've got to get back. But the thing is, I can't. I can't just pop up here. I could have had. I could have had this. I could have had with this being on my doorstep while I've been camping in Norfolk to come out in the evenings to study. I've got no idea how it's going to turn out. I can see Alberta through there. Look. In fact, I can get through a little alleyway. There's Alberta. Look waiting for me. She loves it. I got Bran in my pocket and Bran's got a new friend. She's got a cheetah 
toy that I found. Wow, look, we've got an Emma Arnold here, Sarah. In memory, in loving memory of, of Emma Arnold. He died in. Oh, I can't really read that. It was, I don't know. That's the first Arnold I've seen. There's an old cottage there. This is an old, like everywhere else, everything's old, isn't it? That would have been a massive tree, that round bit there, I would have thought once. Back of the church, it's got some nice stained glass windows inside it. At least it's all motorway mainly on the way back now, once I get back on it, that is. Walker, Walter King, there's lots of kings in there, I've noticed. That's a, that's a whole row of kings there. There's the back, of course there was a funeral when they first came, so I couldn't video when they, when they first came here. There was all funeral people outside. Yeah, I've noticed quite a few kings in both graveyards. So this is St Mary's, Jolene, Duncan and Georgia. Um, this is where you've got some family. We've only just really started to look at this. And I didn't bring any details with me, so I couldn't... I couldn't look up any associated names unfortunately because I I can't remember and um, basically There's a Drake over there, a John Drake, died in 1823. These have all been placed in rows like this, by the way. When they've fallen over, they would have been stacked like that. It's all badges around the top of the church there. And a Google. Anyway, I've done what I can, everyone. Like I said, I'm absolutely knackered. Pudland. Pudland. There's another, was that Rudland? It's either Rudland or Pudland. Rudland. That's what it is. Rudland, who died in 1851, age 54. Oh, yeah. That shaped coffin like that. There yeah, for this one. James. Ah, looks like Blade. May the 18th, 1845, age only 26. He's very young. There's a lot of young people buried in here, actually. Must have been um, disease or something. Alright, that's it for now.